Hey guys, Inventor719 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make hydrogen gas using a 9 volt battery. And you'll also need some salt. I have sea salt, but should work the same. Um, an electric wire cap. Just get them from the hardware store, but you probably have one around the house. Um, something to stir in the salt, like a spoon. And at the end, of course, you'll need the matches to test that it is truly hydrogen gas. So, and of course, you need a glass of water. So, right now, the glass of water is filled with tap water, which does not actually conduct electricity. Um, so, in order to allow it to conduct electricity, we're going to add some salt to the mixture. Because the positive sodium and the negative chlorine, uh, chloride ions conduct the electricity. So stir it in till it's fully dissolved and if it what you want to do is you want to reach the highest solubility. So I think I got it right there where no more can be dissolved in is so that you have maximum conductivity of the water. So make sure that's all in and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place your 9 volt battery in the water and I'll show you just before I do this the large terminal is the negative terminal it is the one that's going to make the hydrogen gas the other smaller terminal is the positive terminal that makes chloride gas but it comes out at a much less rate so I'm going to go ahead and place it in the water and I'll zoom in on the glass so you can see the bubbles coming out so there's the bubbles coming out of it And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to place the cap on top of it. Of course, fill it with water first so it does not flow to the top like it just did. So there you have it. It is now filling up with hydrogen gas. Um, now what you're going to want to do is leave it there for around a minute or so. So I'll let that sit and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so it's been sitting for around a minute now. The water turned a bit of a brown green color. That's because of the rust from the um, terminals. So what we're gonna do now is you're gonna get your match, light it, then take off the end cap. And you must not let it sit for too long or else it will tip upside down because it's lighter than the water. So, lit the match. Here it goes, we're gonna test. Lift it up, turn it over. Yep, it made a popping sound. I'll put it on and I'll see if I can get another go out of it. So it's been another minute. We'll give it a try. Here it goes. I don't know if you heard that popping noise, but that was the um, hydrogen gas.